Welcome back to another session. We're at the beautiful beach once again. It's pretty secluded. There aren't any people. We've got a really nice beautiful gutter up here. We've got a 12 foot rod up there. Brandon's setting it up. The conditions today just are beautiful at the moment. We've got a really nice sunrise just behind us. Little to no wind, about two meter swell. So that means big fish are coming in in two meters. Oh. All right, we've got to get baits out. Oh, we got the fish on already. He's lazy fish. He's incredibly lazy. Salmon, small salmon. Watch that shore dump this time. I lost good fish on the shore dump last time. Stealing on my bait. Come in. Oh. He's not that small as I thought. That is a really fat one. Oh. Now it's uh, forced me to go clean my hands. <laughs> Oh, almost got wet. Now you're probably wondering, why don't I ever use lures? Well, to you lure gurus, here we are. We've got a Berkeley Shimmer. So lure fishing for the first time off a beach. I usually fish off of flatties instead of for jews and salmon, but I'll give this a go on my beautiful 12 foot battalion. See if there's any fish around. We've got three rods. <laughs> Have a look at that setup over there. I'll show you. I'll show you that setup in a sec. Check out the reflexes on this spike. That's uh, going to give me hell if I'm using a rod holder. It was supposed to be a rod spike, but um, I lost my other long one. So uh, someone, um, I won't mention it, <coughs> Sean. But um, yeah, I decided to just connect two of these PVC pipes together. But it doesn't look like it's working. I've got a um, an M10 nut. And the hex not connected to each other, but <laughs> I don't think it's even usable, this rod holder. Oh. So we're not going to cover that with all the slobs of bait yet. We're just going to lob this bad boy out. He is pretty light. He's about 60 gram for 130 gram rod. We're going to whack him out, hit the birds. Whack! And hit the bird. And I guess the technique is sort of like new to me. It's just reeling and I'm um, just reeling. And just sweeping it across. I'm not going to let it hit the bottom. Just get that paddle tail to work. I set the drag actually. Ah! Oh, as you can see, I think that's a little. Is that school of fish right in front? I can't tell. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> okay, we'll pack up this rod. There's nothing here. We'll cast it a bit later. Have a look at this sketchy holder. Oh, I mean, that would actually work if I um, twisted it around. I think what we're going for today really is just a silver ghost. They are a silver ghost because you either get heaps of them or you get none of them in the duration, which uh, I've experienced that drought. Well, the table fish is currently um, he's sitting down. He's gone. That's a fat model of a salmon. But tonight's goal is to keep getting dew fish overnight we're looking pretty good we've got really nice conditions as i said before we've got the right bait we've tried to pick out a good structure we've walked heaps and the only thing we've got to wait for now is the fish to pass through that's all we're waiting for and the one thing you always want to invest in is glow sticks very good just get one little tip don't need to uh you don't need to suck up a thousand of them like i did before and boom now you can sit here all night and watch fish go off. A little bit stuck. Seems secure. Like mine. Oh. Well, I think you have a fish. Just, just maybe. I don't think it's a really big one. Salmon. You were holding the rod when he um went off, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I think this is a good fish, to be honest. Looking at it, from my perspective. Yeah, I don't know. I might swing it up around. Oh there. yeah, I'll keep a distance from you. I'll go this side instead. Right here on the beach. We're just waiting for a wave to bring it up. 
Is that a Jewfish to you? Uh, probably, yeah. Oh. It is. It's a good size one as well. Oh. Oh. Trying to grab him. Oh. Actually, I'll put them this way for you. Yeah, I see. Oh. 97? 97. Well, 98 centimeter, 97 centimeter model. That's a good fish. Yep. Did you feel like it was that big or? You know, I've got this big head on, so it kind of kind of dulls the, the fight a bit, but yeah, it felt pretty good after a second. At first, I didn't think so, but I think it's because he ran in towards me. Oh, I think that's but, a beautiful fish. Yeah. Put him back? Yeah. Alright. Go ahead. You have the honors to release it this time. How does he smell? Is he still very stinky like the small ones? Yeah, oh, a lot less. Whoa! He <laughs> <laughs> was kicking as soon as I said it. Down. Yeah, there he goes. Yeah, he wow. Kicked off hard. That's a good fish. Heck yeah, man. Oh! Oh no! We got a stingray in this condition. Any of you wondering how to uh, hold a stingray? You put your finger in his above his mouth, just grab him up here, put your rest of your fingers in between his eyes, and uh, he can't bite you or he can't stab you. If that's the right terminology. Oh! You should be fine. I mean, the setup we've got is still this soft flacky. It's about six solid inches. Still got both my hands. They're not freezing cold yet. We'll see if there's anything that's going to still take this at night. I mean, it looks really promising. We just have to see. No luck and lures. So, we're going back to bait fishing. Have back in the sketchy rod holder. Ah. I kid you not, this is the dodgiest setup. Just have a listen to this. That is so dodgy. Like, you can hear the thing squeaking. And if there's a big wave, as you probably will see, this thing, <laughs> like it's just held in by one screw. I mean, don't buy cheap PVC pipe and get yourself longer ones like the ones on the other rods. But, Jesus, here it goes, the wave. Hear him creaking. I'll just hold on to this instead. After a rough night in cold and rough beach conditions, we ended up with two salmon, a stingray and one dew, but there wasn't much motivation to stay for much longer. 